Hello and welcome back to part 3 of the simulation breakdown workflow of Cerebus bursting through hedges. Um, if you don't know what the scene looks like at the end, I'll just quickly play through this once again. So this is just an animatic play blast of the final, final simulation. For the first two parts, I explained how to do the simulation for the leaves and also set up the end cloth simulation for the vines. So if you've watched the first two parts, thank you. If you haven't and you want to know how to do the simulation for this, um, check the first two parts. So for the final part of the, uh, the video, I'm going to show you um, how I added the additional geometry vines onto uh, onto the low res vines. So here's a low res. So this thing's been all cached out, so I can scrub through. So you can see each vine, I tweaked the, uh, the dynamic constraint of the breaking point and also some of the stickiness. So each vine doesn't don't all snap at the same time. This makes it look a little bit better. And then finally I attached additional geometry onto the vines. That just makes it look a little bit more better. Bad grammar, John. A little bit more better. <laughs> okay, so let's get to it. I've explained a little bit in part one on how this is done. So actually now we'll go in and I'll show you the uh, the expressions used. So for each, so from the last video, you should have imported all the different uh, geometry and then applied a geometry cache onto each one. Import cache. So for each group of these, 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 I have a different geometry cache on them. Um, they're not very big, um, so feel free to ca cache them. You know, it's it's not much of a system hog, but you get the added benefit of very very fast interactivity. And then once I've imported them all, uh, I've see cache, 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 cache. I've uh, combined all the geometry into <coughs> one object and that just makes it easier to um, do the dynamics in this part. So what I've done is created a n particle emitter and I've told it to emit from the surface of this geometry Done is also told it to stick onto the surface of the geometry. So as the geometry deforms, it sticks on the same spot. This technique you can only use it on polygon geometry that have uh, UVs on them. Uh, but, uh, um, I believe this is a yeah. This is a UV based technique. So make sure you have UVs on these geometry here. Because as you can see it's not actually sticking to uh, the ver vertices on the geometry. It's actually sticking to random random spots based on, uh, based on UV. 
let's have a look at the emitter so it's a surface emitter of course um, particle rate you'll need to up this um, before you set the initial state and then turn it to zero after you've uh, found uh, something that you like otherwise you, if you leave it on it's just gonna keep emitting as time goes by which is not what you want so I set that to zero after you've uh, set the initial state Oops. Sorry. Uh, need parent UV nothing else nothing really special set the speed to zero uh, to avoid any conservation when you uh, emit uh, when you set the initial state besides from that that's a fairly stock standard surface emitter the magic really happens here in the end particle section. Uh, here we go. Not, not sure why I have two here, but anyway. So I've cached this out already, but uh, that's why it's dis disabled. But you can see there's 249 particles on there. You don't need to go crazy. Um, the less, the better. It's just going to help speed up your system. Lifespan, live forever, um, because we want to have the leaves stay on the on the vines forever. It's, yeah, okay. I'm not going to go through that. It's quite simple. Uh, what is important is the way that we, if, when we emit the particles from the surface here, we want it to stick to the the vines. We don't want it to be just floating in air. So we do that through collisions and goals. I'll say that again. Collisions and goals are what you need to use in order to have the particles stick to the surface of the vines. So when you're doing the simulation, uh, you need to have collide on. You, need, you don't need self-collide, self you just need collide. And that's going to evaluate basically whether when each particle collides to the surface of the mesh uh, it's going to stick on there using goals so let's have a look at okay so this is where the magic is happening here so you can see I've done the same trick here uh, as the part one video. I've set a random scale and random rotation PP. So scale and rotation rand 0 to 360 degrees rand 0.5 to 0.95. Uh, this is important when you're um, doing the instancing later on. Um, you want to have randomized scale. Right? Not going to matter here because we're just looking at the n particles. But if we turn on the instancer, you'll notice a difference. And basically, I've also set up a goal. So I've set the end particle 
to have a goal of this mesh here. Uh, set the goal, goal smoothness to zero because we don't want it to um, have in-betweens on each frame and we want to have the goal weight to one we want to enable goal weights Ooh, what's next okay so when we emit from the mesh we want to tell Maya to evaluate whether uh, it's hitting a point on the mesh if it is then stick to that point and uh, and make sure to stick on that same point uh, on every frame and not change you know change the position so goals will tell it to stick on the frame uh, st stick on the the vine vines, but it's going to evaluate every frame. So you might get different positions each frame. Basically, we don't want that. So what we need to tell it to do is uh, to save the position, and once that position is saved, don't evaluate that collision again. So we do that with expressions. So in the creation expression, we need to set parent u and parent v. Yep, this is going to tell it to uh, to collide on the uv rather than vertices. And then runtime before dynamics. If n particle collision u equals negative one, then we want the particle to stick to 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 look for a collision basically to to activate the goal uh, and trace step pp <laughs> i'm not exactly sure um, what this does but i think it helps it to evaluate the 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 time it helps it to eva evaluate the collision so it doesn't keep evaluating it every frame it just basically does it once okay sorry I can't explain any more on the trace death PP because I can't remember what this one does but this is runtime before dynamics now runtime after dynamics we don't have anything so this little bit of code here very useful. It's going to tell it to find a surface to stick on. If it finds a surface then um, stick on the same place and not evaluate that uh, procedure again uh, once it has collided with the surface. Um, so once you've basically emitted the particles onto the surface and it's all working fine it's sticking you know sticking onto onto the vines in the same place you want to cache that out uh, because caching is going to save you a lot of time so I've cached it out again um, because we don't have that many particles the cache size is really tiny so definitely cache it out and after that um, we just simply instance use the instancer to instance these additional geometry onto the particles. That all good. Um, one other thing I like to just show you with this technique of emitting from surfaces here and making it stick on um, you may find that you need to turn off the gravity uh, 
in, in your nucleus otherwise uh, you might find the particles start to fall start to drop over time and that's because your gravity you have gravity here you can tell it to ignore the solver gravity but I just set it to zero here it's fine what else if we go back into the m particle shape instancer so same as before position well position scale scale pp which is a random random range the rotation is rotation pp we don't actually have velocity interfering of this one so don't worry about that in the other one, we used velocity in the expression to get a nice dynamic uh, rotation, but this one it just needs to stick onto the surface. There's no falling action or anything like that. So the m particle here in 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 this particular setup doesn't have any dynamics attached to it at all. It's just basically a way to instance. Uh, objects, dynam uh, instance objects onto the vine based on uh, UV and collision. Yeah, it's, there's no uh, no fields. You don't want any fields or anything affecting it because you've already done that in the base simulation of the end cloth. You know, the end cloth simulation has all the dynamics on it. So don't need to double up really you can if you want to anyway I think that's it thank you for watching uh, I hope that was helpful for you a um, little bit hard to try and explain this because there was a quite a lot of steps involved in, in setting this up so I hope you enjoyed it uh, thanks for watching again and uh, I'll leave you with the the play blast See you later, take it easy. Thank you.